Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 14 of my Dortmund Corona. Now, today's episode, we've got three or four games to get through. In fact, I think probably four games to get through. The game against Frankfurt to begin with is going to be simmed in the league, so we can crack on with the more important matches. That next game coming up is just four days later. That's in the Europa League, round of 16. Um, obviously, the second leg of that game against Rosenberg. The first one, we won 3 0, so we should be okay to get through into the next round of that competition. And then onto the game against Borussia Munch and Gladbach as well. It's an away match in the league for us to play. A uh, little bit of time between that game obviously the Europa League match but then onto a Bayern Munich battle uh, four days later huge game once again obviously they're in second place a little, little bit behind us to be honest but uh, things can change there's still plenty of games to go and so I'm looking forward to that one to finish off today's episode before we go any further though if we could try and hit 100 likes on today's episode then I'd really appreciate it also please go ahead hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well and that'd be absolutely fantastic too don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at GameFaceHD and on Instagram at GameFaceHD as well let's crack on with things in today's episode so we're going to go with the change team for this game against Frankfurt. Um, as you can see, Van Fell is still in goal because Berkey is still out injured. We have made quite a few other changes as well uh, in preparation for that second round game that we have coming up in a few days' time. 25 minutes in and they've taken the lead. Fernandez scores. That's a goal there for the away team. Frankfurt has taken the lead into the second half, losing the game 1-0 still. Boateng makes it 2-0 and misses a penalty. We're going to lose this game. Why are we losing this match? 20 minutes to go. We've got a better team out. I know we've got Izak starting up front, which isn't great, but five minutes left and that'll be it. Lost the game 2-0. That's a bit of a surprise. I thought we had to be enough team to get ourselves a victory there. Obviously not. Uh, we've lost a game in the Bundesliga. Don't think it's our first loss, but we've you know dropped more points. But um, I think that's maybe 12 points we've dropped this season in total now. Something like that. Uh, not great, but also allows Bayern Munich back into this a little bit more now. Some player drills this week, and that sees the young French midfielder go up to 72 overall, which is good news. Best he gets a little bit closer to 65 overall as well this week, so he could well go up next week, which would be quite good. On to the next game now against Rosenberg, and let's see what team we've got available to put out. It's going to probably be quite a strong team, to be honest, despite it's already been 3 0 up, and they've got to make sure we kill off the game and get into the next round. Okay, this is the team going to go with for this next game coming up that we have to play. Change around the goalkeeper, we brought in the young 17 year old at he came from our youth academy. He looks pretty good, so I am going to give him a go in goal. Vinen Feller actually a little bit tired for the last match, even though I can't imagine he did that much running. But he comes in, Toljan at right back, Socrates top rack and Durham in defence as well. Dahoud, Weigel and Fekere in midfield, with Royce, Bash, White and Pilicic as our front three. So a uh, pretty good team, quite a strong side we've gone with. And uh, this is the bench as well. Sané, Guerrero, Dendoka, Sanson, Philippe, Sancho and Rodrigo all on there. Hopefully going to get ourselves a victory, hopefully going to get ourselves a few more goals as well after a 3 0 between the last leg. Let's wait and see. Okay, let's get on with this game against Rosenberg, find out how we get on and try and get ourselves a victory. Let's wait and see how we do. Chance, or oh, punch straight by the goalkeeper. Uh, really got Tusi actually for Rosenberg there, caught us by surprise, but the keeper does well, actually pounces on it and uh, punches it away. Uh, they've still got the ball here though, they've started off this game quite well, turning top rank with really poor defending there. Loses his man totally. Don't know why he's not marking him and we lose this game 1 0. It's an away goal there, and it's Nicholas Bentner. Oh no, it's, it's not, is it? Oh no. Didn't even realise he was playing for them. That's how much of an impact he's had across the two legs. Oh, totally free. Even Bentner can score that. Losing the game 1 0. 3 1 in aggregate. Nicholas Bentner. Oh. Fekir coming inside. Oh, white towel. That's got to be a card as well, ref. 10 minutes before the break, and we're still losing this game 1 0, surprisingly. Not really got into the game, not really found our rhythm particularly well so far. But a free kick opportunity here. It's a good position, actually, if you're good at free kicks. Fakir over this one. Just try and get it up and over the wall, please. It's a really good position. Oh, off the bar. That was really close. Just a, maybe a bit too much curl on it. Slightest amount of... Uh, too much of power, I think, as well. Uh, but really, really close from Fakir there. Great free kick. And so close to an equaliser. That's right. Takes a touch. Shoots. Oh, I thought it scored just wide. Starting to get into this game a little bit more now with a couple of minutes left. And in fact, it was saved. Didn't even see the save. Must have got a slight touch. And Socrates went for it there. Chested down to the goalkeeper. A bit bizarre, but... Keeps hold of it, Bent is injured, <laughs> of course he is. Um, I shouldn't laugh too much because he's actually put them one goal in front so far in this game. Royce, go on. Okay. oh over to Pulisic, that was accidental. Pulisic with a chance though, Fekir following up, and he scores 1-0 with levelled 4-1 in aggregate. That is it, so we've got ourselves back in level terms in this match. And uh, give ourselves a three-goal advantage once again uh, in the overall tie as well. Wasn't even supposed to find Pulisic there. Supposed to be a back um, I was trying to thread a little ball through, but Pulisic was free anyway. Eventually falls to Fakir on his right foot into an empty net. Can't really miss. one all. Yeah, good way to end the first half, getting the equaliser there. Probably deserved in the way that we finished that first half as well. Uh, pretty impressed by that. Uh, but not so impressed by the opening 30 minutes, really. We didn't look up to much at all. That's why, obviously, they took the lead. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. 
If I care from range, come on. Go on. Oh, not far away at all. A little bit better now with a, a fairly decent free kick taken. If I care, going for the chip. Go on. Oh, not far away at all. Thought I'd go for it. So a slight gap off his line, but fortunately it doesn't quite dip enough in the end. That's right. Oh, another good save. Out for a corner. I'd really starting to bombard them with shots now. Could even argue that maybe we should be in the lead at this point. But if I care to deliver a corner and punch straight by the keeper. Struggling to break them down still in the final 10 minutes. It might just be a one-all draw here. It's a bit surprising. I was expecting to come out here with a very strong team, get ourselves a, maybe a 3-0 victory again, and then just move on to the next game. But uh, it's not quite been as comfortable. It hasn't needed to be, because obviously we're 3 not from the last leg. But yeah, just a bit surprised by the performance. They've defended pretty well, actually. We haven't ourselves attacked particularly well. Struggled for a little bit of end product, as we've just seen again there. Um, so yeah, a bit of a strange game. Hopefully not a sign of uh, our form declining. Pjelicic turning his man, good chance to shoot and his left foot saved and nearly into the path of Batshuayi but cleared away once again and I think that might be the final attack for us here. Fek here, go on, oh just wide, really close once again with that uh, little chip I decided to go for, doesn't seem too far away to be fair but yeah again not quite on target, Bentner coming off here in the latter stages, we've not made any changes, we probably should have. Um, but there's an international break anyway, so they should recover most of them anyway. You should recover during that time. Well, there we go. One all draw. A um, little bit of an expected result and performance. Bit of a strange match, really. We had the better chances. We deserved to win, but we just didn't get ourselves the victory, um, which is a bit of a shame. But like I said, we didn't need to. So we go into the next round anyway. 4 1 aggregates. And as you see by the stats, they had one shot and scored it. So it was pretty much one way traffic in the second half. Uh, just yet to sort of break them down as we'd hoped. But like I say, we're through. That's the main thing. We'll see who we play in the next round. According to that, it's real salty. Dad, but sometimes it's uh, not going by the tournament trail, I think. Yeah, I've never heard of the team that have got in the next round in the quarterfinals. No idea. Don't even know what league they're from. Um, we'll wait and see, I suppose, when we get there. Okay, good news for us here. Berkey rejoins the squad. I was kind of uh, getting fed up having to play Ryan and Feller. Uh, the Ux that we played in the last game actually didn't do a bad job, to be fair. Uh, but Ryan and Feller wasn't too sure about uh, given his age and his lack of mobility. We will do some play drills before we get on to this next game. It's been an international break, so a bit of time for us to recover. And we do have our young goalkeeper going up as well. Uh, also got Bestie going up to 65 overall now, which is good news. Don't know how close he'll get to our first team ever, to be honest, but he's going up. He's growing quite well for us this year. Got up six overall so far. Not too bad. Okay, so on to this game now against Borussia Mönchengladbach. This is the team going to go with. Ber Berkey starts in goal for us. Toljan at right back, uh, Socrates, Sané and Guerrero in defence also. Uh, Weigl, Dehoud and Fakir in midfield once again with Philippe, Rodrigo and Pulisic as our front three. Batshuayi drops out of the whole squad, slightly tired but the main reason is just to kind of prepare for the buying game to be honest. Royce also drops out and this is the bench that we're left with. Zagadou on there, we've got Durm, Dendoka, Sanson, Schürrle, Yamalenko and Sancho all on there as well. So a pretty strong bench. Obviously a few youngsters put on there, but yeah, pretty happy with the side that we've gone with. Also got to think about the game against Bayern, so trying to balance things out slightly, but I have to be honest, probably favoured this game a little bit more. Seems strange, but I think we're going to go for this side. I'm pretty happy with the team we've gone with. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how we get on against Bayern. It's one of those sort of games where it's alright if we lose to Bayern, because then it keeps the league quite competitive. At the moment, it's not really that competitive, so maybe we'll try and make things a little bit trickier for ourselves to playing at a different team next game. But let's focus on this one first, try and get ourselves a win. Okay, we go for this game against Borussia Mönchengladbach. A tough match, potentially. Uh, we saw in the last game that we didn't quite get going as I'd hoped, and so hopefully we can do a little bit better in this game. Um, obviously still... Uh, managed to get ourselves a goal, but we did concede first. We've got to try and cut that out of our game a little bit more and uh, try and get all the matches better. Okay, looking to try and play into the Hood to shoot. Oh, 1 0. What a start. That's more like it. Three minutes in, we've got ourselves the goal. The Hood there from outside the box. Fekir and him linking up quite nicely, get a, a good finesse shot away and we'll win the match. 1 0. Great start to the game. Exactly how we had to begin after a disappointing last match. And uh, yeah, that's a good sign. And hopefully, more to come. Oh no, good chance, really, really good chance. He's tracked that wide so badly, should definitely score that. Don't know what's happened with the scoreboard. Uh, hopefully that resets itself, but that was a bit strange. He should get that on target, if not score. It's a really good chance to the opposition there. We've just let him through, Got lost the ball um, really sloppily, to be honest, and they could have easily equalised for that. Luckily, uh, I don't know who it was, but he's just completely dragged it. Toljan, going to cross, good chance for the hood. Oh, heads down into the ground, saved by the keeper. Not quite going to be able to get a second before half time, but a good opportunity. Uh, Save quite comfortably, but we're going to the break. One up, obviously good to be in front, but got to try and build on that lead a little bit more. A little bit worried that we haven't quite got going forward again. Been a little bit similar to the last match. You can see three shots, three on target. Pretty much sums up how sort of average this game has been for both of us. Not that many chances either way. Uh, we'll certainly be the better team, but um, I wouldn't rule out uh, Brushing Wish and Gladback getting a goal in the second half. 
Oh no, good turn, and I thought they'd scored. They should have as well. They've had two good chances, and they've put them both of them wide, uh, both of which they could have quite easily finished and uh, put themselves level, or in this case it would have been in front if they got both of them. Unbelievable for Borussia uh, Mönchengladbach back to again miss that chance 10 minutes into the second half. They should really be competing in this game much better, but we've got to be getting ourselves a second goal. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to drop points here. Rodrigo, ball through to Philip. Great chance. Going to shoot, saved, and oh, trying to follow us up. A chance for Pulisic now, and we have done finally. It's 2 0. There we go. Panicked for a second because we needed a second goal, and I didn't think we were going to get it there from that chance. Luckily, followed it up into an empty net and we've doubled our lead. 30 minutes left. Not really deserved from the way the second half's gone. We've not done that much at all. One or two chances, but nothing major. And they've finally managed to get ourselves a goal nevertheless, which is, of course, what we were going for. Uh, but that chance there, I was expecting Fekir to get on the end of it. Luckily, we've got uh, Pulisic on the other side. And let's make some changes, I think, now. We've got to obviously think about the Bayern Munich game, even though it is only a two-goal lead. And we saw in the was it Newcastle episode I put out yesterday that uh, we can lose a two-goal lead quite easily. I think we lost to Charlton in the end. Also, this side isn't Charlton as well, so we've got to be careful. All three changes, Sancho, Schürrle and Sanson, all going to come on. We'll take a final Pulisic and Fekir. Give those three guys a good opportunity to get a rest ready for the next game against Bayern, where they'll hopefully be fit enough to play uh, some four days' time. So there should be a bit of a rest for them there to recover, but... We'll see again. It's very difficult sometimes to predict uh, whether they do recover in time. Good chance once again. Uh, they haven't pulled her back. I was panicking. We're going to lose the clean sheet there. But it was a good opportunity once again. That they haven't been clinical enough to take. Oh my god. Have we seriously just conceded like that? Has that, has that just happened? Oh my god. That's our first choice goalkeeper in net as well. I mean, I don't know what you guys think of that. Let me know in the comment section below. Was that bad goalkeeping? Was that just bad luck? For me, I think you've always got to be able to save those, surely. It's a bit of a stranger. It's an odd header, obviously, but look where he stood. He's got to be able to do something there. He just sort of tries to jump up and doesn't ever look like getting there. Bizarre goalkeeping there from Berkey, but in my opinion, I think he's got to get there. I think he's got to get there. 2-1, we've lost the clean sheet, six minutes left. Hopefully that doesn't mean we're going to uh, go on to concede again in the final six minutes. That's it, the game finishes. We've got ourselves a 2-1 victory. Glad that we managed to hold on just about uh, towards the end. I was panicking for a little bit that we were going to concede again, but we kept the ball in that half. There was never really any massive worries. But um, yeah, a little bit gutted, by the way, that that happened. But still, got ourselves the victory, three points as well. Um, so far in this episode, it hasn't been sort of the thrashings or anything like that that we've seen in previous episodes. Um, it has been more sort of realistic scorelines, realistic results, and, and sort of closer performances, if you get what I mean, sort of tighter in the matches. Hasn't been a clear sort of uh, team in either of the matches so far, really, uh, in terms of, you know, chances creating and obviously the goals as well. Uh, we've yet to really sort of bring out too many goals in today's episode. Hopefully we can against Bayern, although tough opposition. And that's certainly be a surprise if we did. Okay, so this game now against Bayern Munich. This is the team going to go with the final game of today's episode. Berkey starts in goal. Piszczek, top rank, Sané, Zagadou and Durm starting in our back five. Weigl, Fakir and Sanson in midfield. About Schwein and Royce up front there. So obviously a chain formation, 5-3-2. Um, the reason why I've done that is because Bayern generally play... And it's a bit of sort of a 4-1 type formation, but almost with rather than sort of left and right mids, left and right wingers instead. So we're going to try and counteract that by going into a five at the back formation, still having the three midfield to compete and two strikers to cause some issues. So we'll go with that. This is the bench I've gone with as well. Plenty of usual sort of options there. Dropping a couple of players who are a bit tired, also for tactical reasons as well. We'll wait and see how that pays off. Zagadou starting this match. Not just because I like his name, but also a good player in-game as well. Uh, let's see how we do. Currently 14 points in front of Bayern Munich as well, the game in hand. So a real opportunity to get maybe, what, that would be 17 if we beat them. And a game in hand, so potentially 20 in front of second place. Wow. This is going to be a very tough match. I'm not expecting to win. The reason why I say I'm not expecting to win is because of our current form in today's episode. It hasn't been great in terms of defending and attacking, really. So it's not a good mixture. Um, although I'm hoping we do bring out all the stops in, in this match with the, obviously the change formation as well. Just hoping we can get the good performances from midfield, which is going to be very important, as well as finishing off our chances. Okay, that was this game against Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena. Let's find out how we do. Going to be a really tough game. We know about the quality that we've got, and that's the reason why we're having to play in a certain way here. I think we're also on counter-attacking as well, which is why the team's sitting in a lot um, until we have possession. So we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully we're going to get ourselves a victory, but very, very tough. Pistro getting forward early on. Good start, actually. Go for a cross. Oh, it's not very tough. We've scored three minutes in. What a finish. What a bit of play as well. And we've literally just won back possession off them. 
and it's Sansi gets in the box and scores inside four minutes of this game. Really good start. Pistrek gets forward, the captain there, making the run forward. It should really be Royce, but we'll let him off for this game. Good little switch over to him as well, heard by Batshuayi. He brings it down nicely, gets him behind uh, the fullback and the midfielder. And on the volley, smashes it at home, 1-0. What a start. Might have to play this formation more often. Saying that, there's 86 minutes left, so we'll see what we're saying after that. Oh, no, we can't get away there. Cohen with a chance. A bit sloppy in possession at some points during this first half. Should concede. How have we done that? Give the ball to them far too easily. Storm is 1 0 though, being left the hook there. Go on, Batshuayi. Go on. Oh, save by Neuer. Beaten out, and Alaba will manage to just about close one away, I think. Batshuayi to turn and shoot. Oh, that's the second. What a finish. That's come out of nowhere. Great turn and smashes at home. Batshuayi's done it. He's doubled our lead. 32 minutes in, what a turn, what a strike, into the top left-hand corner, really, really good finish there. We've not had loads of chances really, but Bayern Munich haven't been looking the usual, the usual selves really in this game at all. Uh, this is good play for ourselves, just uh, stringing a few passes together and then just turns his man pretty easily actually there. David Alaba just lose, gets lost uh, totally by about Shuaii and you can just see Noy's got no chance of that positioning, especially when it's the opposite side of the goal, so 2-0, pleased with that. Yeah, so I'll play Zagadu, that's more like it. Brilliant. Oh, what a switch that is there. It's got to be a foul. Oh, pfft. looks like a foul on Royce there. Half time winning game 2 0. Really good at the moment. Uh, pretty happy with how we're getting on here. Obviously, to get two goals against Bayern in just the first half is very impressive. You see by the stats that it's pretty level in terms of possession, but in terms of chances created, we're obviously doing better there. Uh, Bayern yet to have one on target, so pretty impressed with what we've limited them to. However, they have had one or two good chances. It's been their finishing that's been the issue, not necessarily our defending. Uh, although we have, at times, kept all the ball well. Other times, lost it in defence. So we've got to try and make sure we don't lose it as many times. Um, and just make sure we're not creating their chances for them. No, good chance. Landowski off the post and follows his own shot up. They've scored 10 minutes into the second half. Landowski does it. Bit fluky, the first shot on target, of course, there, but they've scored from it. And it's open. It's basically all come from the fact that our defence is a bit too open, the gap between our defence and midfield. Too much space in there, um, obviously, with us playing and counter-attacking, which has meant that it's opened up nicely for Lendowski to run into it once, the, once he's got past our midfield anyway. Which runs onto our defence, then we don't close him down and stop him properly. So, 2-1 now, hoping we can still get ourselves a victory, but it's just made things a little bit more tricky with the final 35 minutes left. Okay, first two changes, we're going to bring on Socrates and then Docker. We'll take off Sané and Fekir, both of them booked. We don't want to go down to 10 men, of course, so we'll take it both off. Uh, Sané's probably on his last warning as well before he gets a second, so we'll do that. Uh, a little bit of a shame, really, because I do like Sané. He breaks up the play nicely, but we're going to have to do it to try and protect the 11 men. Come on, let's stop this from going in. Ribery now hits the wall, and Thiago's going to get there before Durham puts it back in. Blocked well by Zagadou. Now we've got to try and clear it. They've still got a hole it now. Tiago and to Lendowski. Come on. Oh, got to clear this better. The pass it around us, like we're not even there. Tiago still has it. Don't give away a foul. Good chance. No, 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 no. Why do we keep doing this? We keep conceding when we shouldn't be conceding because, again, it's, it's one of their first opportunities of the game. They've not done enough to deserve a goal, in my opinion, but... They score it and uh, they're taking the chances. Kingsley Coleman comes inside really well. We don't defend it properly. And it's 2 all. Undeserved, but there you go. That sometimes happens. They've scored two goals in the second half. To pull it back a lot of terms with us. And 20 minutes to go. Bashway, great chance. Really good chance. In fact, on his left foot and saved. Royce going to deliver. Zangadu with a chance to head on into the back post. It's not far away at all. Final change. We're going to bring in Rodrigo. We'll take off Sanson. Royce will drop back a little bit into midfield now. 15 minutes to go. Pretty disappointed at the moment with how things have gone, but yeah, um, I suppose as long as we don't lose the match, then uh, that'll be okay for us. Ball through into Batshuayi. Good chance, Batshuayi. Oh, saved. No, what have we done? What have we done? Oh, the worst thing about it is that it feels like it's three shots, three goals, really, for Bayern. So annoying, so clinical. It's not defended it properly. Gaps opening up all over the place. Disaster. Absolute disaster. Six minutes to go. Let's see how we get on. That's it. Finishes 3-2. Um, from two goals up to 3-2 down. Yeah. 
Not good, not good at all. Started off so well as well, four minutes in, scoring, and then Bashway doubles the lead. Bayern in the end have had well more shots than us, um, which feels very strange to say because really I didn't feel like we had that many shots conceded, so a bit strange, but um, certainly felt like the better team just about, just edged it in my opinion, but I think a draw would have been a fair result. Didn't get it in the end, lost the match. Can't be too disappointed in the fact that, you know, obviously it will make the, the league a little bit more competitive now. will obviously make the title race a bit more competitive, but uh, obviously still miles in front. So it's not a disastrous result or anything, but yeah, just a bit gutted that we didn't quite uh, get the performance as, as I was hoping for. Obviously also that means two losses in, in one episode as well, which I never like, but there you go. Uh, we've got a game in hand, so we could go on to 69 points if we are able to win that game in hand. And we'd still be 14 points in front. So in a really good position going into the latter stages of the season now. And that's pretty much all we've got time for now in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and hit 100 likes, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well. And that'd be absolutely fantastic too. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram at GameFaceHD. And on Twitter at GameFaceHD as well. And that'd be absolutely fantastic. Don't forget, links in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.